Hello, everyone. It is Madman with Voicing Vscape. We are back once again in Draenor Manor. Can you guess why? The woman to the left of us is a clue. So we're going to do Animal Magnetism. And I realized before starting this recording how appropriate that title is for this game, given all the bestiality jokes I've been making. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do this quest. Um, yeah. Let's get right into it. Ooh, we got a lot of dialogue with her. What are we going to do for her voice? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a character I can base her off of. Based on what? Um, hmm. Hello there, and welcome to my humble abode. It's sadly rather more humble than I'd like, to be honest, although perhaps you can help with that. I'm not much into interior design, sorry. Frankly, I'd be more worried about the structural integrity of this whole building. Not to mention the vampire in the basement, the ghosts on the second floor, and the crazy scientist on the third. Are you related to him in some way? Are you guys, like, a thing? No, no, he's just doing experiments up there, like I am in this room. The only thing in this room is a bed. What could you possibly be doing experiments on? You know what? Don't answer that. I've learned over the course of my questing not to ask questions like that. Or at least I should have learned that by now. Anyway, uh, I'd be happy to help you with your experiments as long as it doesn't involve... You know, naughty things. Yay. And no, it doesn't involve anything sexual or anything like that. Not this time. Uh, I didn't even have to talk about a reward, anyway. <laughs> You're more gullible than most adventurers, that's for sure. Uh, don't worry, though. I just need you to help fix this vile old bed for me. Like I said, nothing sexual. It's my back. It's fucking killing me. Then I'll find a suitable reward for you. So, you look like a scientist... You've even got the blown back hair from little experiments blown up in your face. And your big problem is your bed. I think you're looking for a carpenter. Not me. I usually just kill things. Or uh, solve very simple puzzles. I mean, will I even be able to take a nap in it? I'm fucking tired. I've been up for seven hours working. That's why I started this recording, to be honest. Recording? What are you talking about? Oh, you're being meta. Don't do that. And don't be silly. Everyone knows that true warriors don't ever sleep. <laughs> or perform many other bodily functions, for that matter. Have you ever seen anyone take a piss or a shit in this world? Have you ever even heard anyone fart? I thought not. The devs just couldn't be bothered to make it realistic like that. I'd sure love it if they did. Uh, anyway, um, I'll come up with something, though, in terms of a reward. I'd feel bad giving you nothing. Right. I'm not convinced by just a vague something. Uh, by the way, I did mean to ask for a reward, I just forgot. Can you be a slight bit more inspiring in your offer? If you are a scientist, which you haven't confirmed in the dialogue, by the way, I'm just judging you by your appearance. Uh, uh, apologies if that's rude, but you're wearing a bloody lab coat, so you know. You can't blame me. Well, yes, of course I'm a scientist. Did the goggles not tip you off? Anyway, what I need is simple. A couple of undead chickens. You should be able to pick some up at the farm next to Port Phasmatis. I'll use one for my bed, then see what I can make from the other in the way of a reward. And before you make a joke, no, I'm not going to have sex with the undead chicken. I have some ideas involving infinite feathers. Infinite feathers? Well, that will crash the market. Why don't you come up with infinite piss? I think the players of this server would really appreciate that, especially the noobs. Well, actually, maybe that would ruin everything. I don't know. Uh, very well then, I shall await my mystery prize with bated breath. Alright, so we are going to yeet over to Varrock. And we are going to go up to the ghost farm. I was going to wear no armor to preserve more run energy, but you know what? Fuck that. Uh, I wanted to wear this cool shit. And I wanted to use this sword just for fun, just to look at it. Um, you know, I don't get much... I don't get to do much fun shit in this uh, in this game if I'm doing these recordings. It's, it's really just mostly dialogue. That's what I have to concern myself with. So, you know, give me a fucking break. I really was up all night, by the way. I was up uh, working on something for like seven hours. 
I had a nap in the evening and woke up at like 11 p.m. And then I've been working since then. It's like six in the morning right now. So yeah, the madman sleep schedule is real. Uh, this is this is real Vscape hours, real voicing Vscape hours. Ah, uh, the beautiful ambience of wherever we are. I remember when I first played RS3 after not touching RuneScape for years, uh, official RuneScape anyway, uh, I came across the big mansion that they put here, and there's a quest where you get like a ring, and it's a huge pain in the ass. You have to do this um, this timed series of... Uh, of mini games and the, the the speed at which you have to finish them to get like the the good reward is insane. I think I tried like two or three times um, and failed, and it took me like two hours. But I finally got the ring of whatever. I think it was best in slot for a while. Now there's probably six rings that are better than it, but you know that's why we play Vscape because quote unquote new content uh, will never be a thing after a certain point. There's only a couple quests left, and I think like. Now that Berthorp Games Room is implemented, I think there's only pff, like one other mini game. I don't even know which one it is. But after that, this uh, this server will be pretty much complete. The official, complete 2007 recreation, um, which is a damn impressive feat. Uh, props to the developers for getting this far. Um, yeah, I mean, no other server really comes close to this one in terms of content. So, you know, there's my plug for the server for the episode. Woo. So, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll show my stats here while we do this this trek. Um, we got a couple of Slayer levels, we got some combat levels. Right now we should be working on defense. Let's go ahead and change that. But, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with where the account's headed. Um, I haven't even started runecrafting, as you can see. I think what I'm going to do is wait until I have some of the 5k or 10k XP lamps from... Uh, I don't even know which quests. I'll just I'll just look at quest rewards and see which ones give um, those XP lamps. I think, unfortunately, most of them restrict you to using them on skills over 50. So we'll have to either grind out some runecrafting or, I don't know, find a way to just dump XP on it. I just really don't want to bother with it on this account. Same thing with Hunter. Like, I'll get the minimum level I need. But uh, as far as uh, Amulet of Glory goes, we may not get one. <laughs> we, may we may just never do that. I may end up getting the crafting levels just by virtue of needing to make money. Um, which, uh, you know, I may, I may end up doing battle staffs. But to be honest, I think I'll just go for the fletching grind. That's like the most AFK, mindless way to get to a point where I can make actual money. Especially now that we have 55 mage. Um... I did get a crystal key, got a dragon stone, so we'll make a ring of wealth out of that, I guess, once we get 68 magic, which we'll definitely get eventually. Um, I don't know what other skills I can talk about. I'm probably going to thieve cakes till 50 thieving just because I need the food and I don't want to fish. It's another one of those skills where like, I just don't want to... I can't be asked on this account, at least not right now. Um, Agility is going to be a pain. Uh, we'll have to get at least... Pff, I mean, I'd like to get like 70 or 71... Um, just to make mornings end, uh, and it's actually ends. A lot of people say mornings end. I used to say that. I still do. But, uh, anyway, it'll make that quest a little less painful, along with just making the run energy thing less of a pain, too. Uh, that's been kind of an annoyance for all of us, I think. So here we are at the Undead Chicken Farm. No idea how they make money. Maybe we can make some clever jokes about that. Straight up, I'll try to avoid that. That sounds fucking unfunny as shit. Okay, so we've got to have our ghost speak amulet on. Let's pop that on here. And we need to talk to Alice first, I think. Hmm. I feel like I do the same voice for all the women in this game. I'm straight up terrible at doing female voices in general. Hmm, maybe I'll give her like a gravelly... 1930s depression farmer voice or something. Hello. How can I help you? I'm here about a quest. I'm after one of your uh, chickens over there. And I'm not after it in that way. Uh, I need it for a science experiment. And not that kind of experiment. Christ, I feel like I have to qualify every fucking thing I say in this game about animals. Could you help me? You need those useless undead chickens. How odd you adventurers are. 
You need to talk to my husband, though. Not that I can these days. Uh, why would that be? Well, in case you're blind, he's dead. He's floating around in the field out there with the cows. I can't talk to the dead. I'm not a psychic, like my mother was. Right. Okay, I'll talk to your dead husband. Uh, uh, living challenged? Is that the preferred term? Mor mortally challenged? I think they used that in the new Doom game. That was a fun game. I liked it. Uh, hello there, Mr. Dead Person. Y your name's just Alice's husband. Our ghost's not allowed to have real names. Your animals don't look too healthy, mate. Maybe it's the swamp water. It's that fountain thingy in the temple to the east. It's turned them all into zombies. Of what possible use could zombie animals be, especially to, you know, a ghost? First of all, you can't even interact with them because you're incorporeal. Second, I doubt anyone wants to buy rotten meat. And third, I mean... Well, actually, I guess you don't have to feed them. I guess that's a plus. The leather doesn't look too good either. Yeah, none at all, mate. Except that those worshippers at the temple keep coming and killing them for all their bones. Don't ask me why. But you're a ghost. Don't you know about the ectofunctus? And how people grind bones to worship it, and how it creates green goo that you have to mix with the bone powder, and how that somehow keeps all you ghosts anchored to the material world instead of letting you move on. Why any of you would want that, I have no fucking clue. But uh, that's the situation. You don't know a thing about that. Have you even left your farm since you died? Jesus, you'd think you'd want to move on, explore the world, scare some people, do something. That's pathetic, mate. Home is where the heart is. I don't expect a urbanite city folk soy boy like you to understand. I don't know nothing about nothing. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. I'm a simple ghost with simple needs. All I know is years ago that temple started glowing green, and a few months later I woke up dead. That's all there is to it. You think too much about these things, these cognito hazards. They'll eat away your sanity, my friend. I do miss my wife, though. Tell her I still loves her. I try to talk to her, but she can't hear me. Right. Um, would I be able to buy some of your chickens if I do that for you? Talk to my wife and I'll think about it. Okay, let's talk to the wife again. It was like playing marriage counselor with a dead husband and his wife. Weird-ass quest. That's why I love this game. It's like the scenarios are just bizarre. It's like, who who would think of this? How can I help you? I'm here about that quest. I was here a second ago. I have a message from your husband. Uh, he wants you to know that he still loves you. Although, considering he stuck around even after dying, you probably could have assumed that. The curse of undeath was so cruel. All the men out here succumbed, but... Lyra and I were left alive. Female privilege and all. Ever since that day, I've not been able to speak to him. Tell him I love him. But I can't find our savings. I, I know he had our collection of gold and prize cow rosettes just before the curse struck. And don't make a joke about rosettes and buttholes. It's beneath you. Uh, right. I wasn't going to. I'll have a word with him then. <sighs> Magic has its uses, I suppose. I don't know why I said that. Okay, let's talk to him yet again. His name's supposed to be Morgan, according to OSRS. Is, is he named in this? I mean, that's a, that's a minor change that might make this, I don't know, quest a little bit better, writing-wise. Anyway. I gotta criticize the writing at least once per video. Can't go a video without criticizing it. Hey, developers, change the writing. Uh, your wife says she needs the family cash and wants to know what you did with it. Mm, tell her I spent it on cheap booze. <laughs> Your sense of humor died too, it seems. <laughs> Just trying to lift your spirits. I risked my case. Suit yourself, stick in the mud. Anyways, 
I'm not one of them yokels. Tell her I put the cash in the, in the bank like she always told me to. A warning to you, too. Annoy her, and I'll haunt you till your hair turns white. Actually, maybe you'd like that. You're one of them dyed hair folks, aren't you? I'll haunt you till it turns back to its natural color. No, 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 anything but that. What is your natural color? That's privileged information, mate. You don't get to ask me that. Okay, talking to Alice once again. Uh, your husband says he put your cash in the bank. Probably not a good move, considering... Well... Considering it's a bank and all. Mm -mm, I need his bank pin in that case. Can't you just take a ghost speak amulet? Then you could talk to him directly. I can go get more from this crabby gay hermit priest guy who lives in the swamp. I'd kind of rather do that than continue going around back and forth between you and your fucking ghost husband. I tried that once. But all those other ghosts and even the undead chickens and cows scared me so much. Chickens and cows can talk after they die. You really don't want to know what they have to say. I wouldn't try it again for all the cash in Varrock Bank. Ugh, oh, for fuck's fucking sake. Right. Do I have to ask her or him about the crone amulet, or do I have to ask somebody else in this version? Okay, cool. Let's try talking to her husband again. Uh, you may not believe me, but your wife, uh, she wants me to get your bank pin. Now, I know that's a big no-no. I did the stronghold of security. I know all about security. So, uh, believe me when I say I won't share it with anyone, uh, living or dead. Maybe she said that, and maybe she didn't. I think you're just after me saving, city slicker. Tell her no one but a fool gives away their pin numbers. You'll have to steal money for your Gucci loafer somewhere else. Go tell her now. If you're not a double-dealing scammer, that is, or you get back in your fancy German car and go back to Varrock. Uh... Right. I'm here about that quest, uh... Again. Your husband says he won't trust me with his bank pin. He must have done the stronghold of security before he died. Ah, yes, he did. He was awful specific about the Minotaur things down there. In fact, he did the stronghold several times. Kept going back for some reason. Kept saying he'd lost his boots, but... I remember several times I found them here at home and... He'd already left. Was he fucking the Minotaurs? Probably. Right. We couldn't get through this quest without something like that, could we? What if I gave your husband some sort of altered ghost speak amulet? It'd have to be incorporeal so he could get around his neck. Surely that would work. Huh, you're a clever one. Have overhead. Overhead? Guys. Fix it. For real. I've overheard passing adventures say there's some witch near here who changes ghost speak amulets. Kind of a specific thing, very convenient for this quest. I think she lives a bit west of that mad Professor Fink something's castle, uh, past the farming patch. I'll see if I can find her. Big nose and a huge hat, I assume. Don't assume that, you bigot. Witches come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. It's 2023, after all. Right. I wonder where the beautiful young witches hide. Who says I'm not a witch? I'm going to leave now. Uh, well, she does look pretty normal, actually. Please come back, I'm so lonely. Okay, let's go visit the crone. I'm going to go to the wrong spot, aren't I? And then we're not going to be able to finish this quest as quickly as we should.
Is she down here? I think she's next to the Slayer Tower, isn't she? No. Okay. What is going on here? Is she over here? Is she this far west? Am I just an idiot? Yeah, she is. Okay. Good. I mean, I am an idiot, but, you know, not in this specific instance. God damn, this is a lot of running. I keep getting flashbacks to playing RS3. I remember there's like a divination spot here. I remember spending a bunch of time getting divination levels here. It's kind of sad that all my memories, like most, a lot of my memories anyway, are, are RuneScape memories. I wonder how much of my brain is just full of useless memories of this game. Oy, oy, oy. It's like, there goes my childhood. I replaced it with divination. Alice and her husband are having trouble talking to one another. Uh, hello, by the way, I just barged into your house, but, you know, the door was open. Um, they said you might be able to help. Ah, I know them. Shame about those cows. Why would they think that I could help? Alice seems to think you could alter a go-speak amulet. Very specific thing convenient for this quest in order to allow them to communicate. Hmm, well, the poor young lady has such family problems, I quite feel her pain. I'd be happy to help. You seem to have one of her golden hairs on your shoulder, so I can use that. In a flash, the crone whisks away an unseen hair from your shoulder. Talk to me again with a ghost-speak amulet and some space in your backpack, and I'll be ready to work on this little good deed. I could work another good deed on you, if you like. Maybe later. Very good. The way I plan is quite simple, really. I can mirror part of the unused mystical essence of the ghost speak amulet, bind it with Alice's hair, and thus create a second amulet. The second amulet will be useful for the purpose you desire, though it won't work for any other ghost or human or quest other than the farmer and his wife. Okay, let's remove our amulet. Talk to her again. Are you ready to do your mystical stuff with my ghost speak amulet? Mm, I most certainly am. There we go. Wow, that was quick. You better watch out or it'll be quick with you too. Like I said, later I've got to finish this crap. <laughs> Just being a good neighbor. Okay, we have the crone made amulet. Now we run back to the farm. Oh, what the music's like here. Ooh. I don't think I've listened to this track. Oh, there we go. I recognize this one. That bone clacking one was kind of cool. There's pickles in the swamp. You can hear him croaking away. I actually thought this quest was going to take longer. I thought it was going to be like a 45 minute video, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to finish it in around 30, which is kind of nice because I'm actually starting to get tired here. Imagine actually doing work and then getting tired and not living the neat dream of doing nothing. Okay, let's make sure not to click backwards like a moron. Okay, almost there. A couple more grueling tiles. After this, we can just yeet over to pest control, and then uh, we have to go to Remington for a bit, and then we're pretty much done. We can just run back to Draenor after that. That's the plan, anyway. Okay, so let's talk to Malcolm, or Alice's husband. I never checked if his name actually is Malcolm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, hello there. Malcolm, is it? I talked to your wife and thought that if you had a special amulet, you could speak to her instead of speaking through me and sort out the bank situation without me being involved. Oh, that makes far more sense than I was expecting from a muscle head like you. My wife's a clever one. Uh, well, look, never mind. I just want those damn chickens. 
Give me that amulet, then. We'll see about your unnatural desire for chickens. Look, I told you, mate, it's got nothing to do... Oh, actually, I told your wife that. Well, look, just to clarify, they're for a science experiment, not any other kind of experiment. Oh, usually people who've come here to buy my animals before and after I died and they became undead were buying them for, uh, well, either eating or other carnal purposes, if you get my meaning. Yes, I get your meaning. The joke's gone s as stale as this cow next to me. Can we just get over with this? All right, ta, mate. Lucky we had such a brilliant idea. You hand the coin name to Alice's husband. Okay, now we talk to Alice. Do we get the cutscene? Oh, no, wait, we have to talk to him again? Okay, hold on. Many thanks. Now, what was it you were wanting again? I need a couple of your chickens. Oh, chickens are tricky, especially dead ones. I'll have to catch them for you. I mean, I could run them down there right over there and I've got a sword. They look pretty pathetic. How hard can it be? Stand back while I catch them in this flashy cutscene, you city slicker. You hear some loud squawking noises. Here, chicky chicky. Malcolm fails to catch the chicken. The devs also fail to call him Malcolm. He runs off after it. Alice's husband returns, still chasing. Alice's husband fails to catch it again in a thrilling cutscene that you can't see. Get here, you pesky bird. He fails to catch the chicken yet again. Just like the devs failed to animate this cutscene. The chicken hides behind the house. The chicken hides behind a cart. Where'd she go? A cow wanders into the frantic scene. Ah, uh, adventure walks in? Get off my land. The adventurer kills the cow. You killed Bessie. The adventurer goes after the chicken. The adventurer swings his axe and misses. Alice's husband reaches towards the chicken and manages to catch it. I got your chickens right here after that thrilling cutscene. Yes, I'm so glad everyone got to see it. So, can I finally buy one? Oh, yes. I can hand over a chicken if you give me a ten of them ecto token thingies per bird. Wait a minute. Your wife's got money problems, mate. Can you use ecto tokens to buy other things yourself? What else can you buy with these things? I guess you can buy stuff in Port Phasmatis, can't you? You used to be able to buy bolt racks with coins, but that wasn't accurate, so it got retconned. What the hell are you talking about? Nothing. Can I buy two of your chickens? I'm laying away my tokens for some killer cows, by the way. That'll learn them bone rustlers. Right. Very good. I'm going to leave now. Okay, so I think we've got to talk to Ava again. So I think what we'll do is we'll just yeet our way over to Lumbridge. It's probably the best way to get to Draenor. Since we are not going to have a glory for a very long time. We can't leave this poor fucker here. I can't pass by shit post bot and leave him alive. It's the it's, it's amoral to do that. Ooh, bronze arrows this time. Very fancy. Straight up, I got the second chicken so that uh, I could use it as a weapon because apparently you can do that. Look at this. I never knew you could do that until I read the guide. It doesn't do any damage, I don't think, but you know, some dank fashion scape. Definitely better than the sword. Oh, I have energy again. It's like real life. Need to up my agility level IRL. Or just start taking more stimulants. <laughs> That's the shortcut way. No uh, no interesting imps. I have seen a lot of magpies lately. I've been announcing them in the chat, and people have been posting what loot they got, which is always fun. It's one of those comfy things about this game. People like to shout out imps to other people if they can't uh, catch them. It's fairly consistent. Most people will actually do that instead of uh, ignoring them, which is always nice. It's like a, you know, just it indicates how nice the community is here. It's, it's tight-knit. We kind of, we look out for each other, you know? We help each other. 
month. That's the kind of community you can expect if you join Vscape. Go to www.videoscape.org today and make an account. I'm hoping to get up in the high scores, too. We're almost at 1K total, and there aren't that many people playing hardcores on here. Um, for the 1X experience, a lot of people, and I'm using the term experience in both senses, a lot of people to go to um, Scape 05. They tend to go there um, because there's less 07 content in addition to the XP rate option of 1X being a thing. Um, so it's kind of like playing the game on hard mode in a way. Like, uh, the, the 2005 game is actually pretty different. Like, the, the lack of certain skills kind of changes the dynamic of how you do things. Like, there's no herb lore. There's no farming. It's, it's really weird. It's, it's, um, it's strange. I made an account and I tried playing for a few hours and, uh, I, there's a, there's a 5x XP option, which is the default, and there's a 1x option. Um, but the issue is there's only like three quests implemented. So, you know, there's not much to do. Like you do those couple of quests and it's like, okay, well, I can grind forever. You know, it's like, well, the community's nice though. Um, much bigger community for whatever reason than, uh, than this game, or at least the Discord has more people. But I uh, haven't been on that in a while. So don't quote me on that. Vscape's Discord might be more active. Um, either way, yeah, Scape 05's cool too. Check out Scape 05. Shout out to uh, the Scape 05 devs. It's, it's a fun version of the game. It's cool. Um, just not my personal bag of tea, as it were. My spiritometric devices show that you've been in close contact with ghostly animals. Are we close to success? Uh, here's your dead animal. Amazing success. I can look forward to some good night's sleep after all. Can I ask exactly how an undead chicken will help you sleep? Well, I need the feathers to make my bed more comfortable. A comfortable bed will help me sleep. It's obvious, really. Obviously, yes, but why the hell would you need an undead chicken when there are perfectly good, like, chickens just down the road? Also, there's a shop in fucking Shanty Pass that sells feathers, and they restock fucking fast, and there's fishing shops all over the place that sell feathers. How many bloody feathers do you need? Well, for a start... Undead feathers are much cleaner than living ones, no dust mites or anything. You see that one episode of Eon Flux where the chick wanted to fuck the bird angel guy, and then a tick crawled off of his wing, bit her, and her skin started rotting? Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. I'm a scientist. I know these things exist, okay? Secondly, I always think of Ernest when I see a chicken, so my nerves can't take killing them. How on earth did you know Ernest? I thought you said you had nothing to do with a scientist upstairs. You know what? Don't even bother telling me there's enough dialogue to plow through in this quest. Why do I need a chicken for my reward anyway? Whatever it is, it better not be a bed. Seeing as how you're a ranger, you ranger types use so many feathers in your arrows, I was thinking I could harness an undead chicken to make an unending supply of arrow flights for you. Well, that's actually quite considerate of you. Thank you. Beat slaying chickens or hanging around in fishing shops. So what next? We'll need a magnet next, one with purely natural fields, and made from a carefully selected iron bar. A firm impact, and don't make a joke, when the iron is parallel to Videoscape's field will stabilize the field in the rod. Go and talk to the witch next door for help with such a magnet. I'll also take my chicken now. Thank you. Oh yeah, she needed two of them, actually. I'm glad we got two. I guess I can go buy my other ones later. Okay, so, witch in the northwest corner. Let's talk to her. Hello, my puppet. What brings you to my room this time? <laughs> uh, Ava told me to ask you about making magnets. Something about natural fields and other stuff. Sounded like she needed a farmer, to be honest. I think she needs her field ploughed, if you know what I mean. Uh, not that she can't do science, or that women can't do science, or that women who do are sexually frustrated. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that her, specifically as a character, uh, needs to be fucked. Badly. Mm, yes, she's a bit of an incel, or a femcel, as they called him. Uh, don't worry, dearie. I can tell you just what to do, and you won't have to worry your pretty head about the complicated bits. You could worry about my complicated bits. Never in my life have I been less inclined to do anything of the sort. 
No need to patronise me quite so much either, you know. Look, I went to anger management classes, my lambkin. That's why I was treating you so kindly. It's either this way of talking or I'll go back to shoving children into ovens. Wow, that escalated quickly. Uh, all right. Gonna put a mental note in my head not to ever piss you off. Yes, you do that. Now bring me five iron bars and you're well on the way to never having to talk to me for another quest ever again. That sounds fantastic. I happen to have those bars right here. Ah, you'll go far in the questing world. I made some nice painted metal toys for you, Snookums. Please stop. Please just stop. Oh, forget it then. If you want to react to kindness, I'm back to luring infants into my oven for the Clintons. You'll have it on your conscience every single death. Go to the iron mine just northeast of Remington and hit the bar with a plain old smithing hammer. Then take your new magnet to Ava. Poor femcell, having to deal with whippersnappers like you. I'm gonna shut the door on you. So that you can play the fool nowhere but in your own house. That's a Hamlet quote. Anyway. Okay, so now we need to go to Remington. I'm wondering if we can just... I think we'll just teleport. Fuck the the running. <laughs> Just fuck that. We're not doing that. Okay. I think I jinxed things by saying this quest isn't going to take that long now. It's going to take like an hour. Selected iron. Selected from what? I love how there's a random market stall here. I have no fucking idea what this is supposed to be or why this is here. And it appeared in some update to this game. It's like you can pretend to be a shopkeeper or something. It's like, welcome to V-Masters Custom Wares. We got uh, buttons, leather, and selected iron bars. So you never have to talk to that bloody witch. Okay, to Remington Mine for the only purpose that anyone ever goes there for. I think we just have to face north. I don't think there's anything really special we have to do. Okay. Bing, bang, boom. There we have a bar magnet. Fantabulous. Okay, so I think all we have to do now is go back to Draenor, and then we do the magnet thing. She makes us the axe. We cut the undead tree. Um, do we have to go to Turiel? Damn, I'm glad I've got this game's necklace. This is going to be a fucking odyssey of, of walking around. I got nothing to talk about, too. My head is fucking empty. I do wish these guys dropped highwayman masks. I want to say they changed it so they did, but I probably just imagined that. I think I've only ever gotten one highwayman mask on all of my accounts combined, and it was actually on my main... On Videoscape, I got one Highwayman mask from an easy clue, I think. So, I mean, apparently they're pretty rare. I don't know how much they're worth now on this server, but uh, check the price guide on the Discord to find out. We've got to do Troy McClure for somebody's voice, man. I, I think maybe we'll do that for um, whatever quest we do next that has a shit ton of male dialogue. I am, I'm going to go balls deep into Troy McClure and not in that sense. We're going to, we're going to just have a whole fucking. It'll be a it'll be a beautiful, rich, creamy session of voice acting with just his voice for thirty minutes. <laughs> we'll, we'll pick a quest where we have to talk to the same guy like fifty times. Maybe one of the knights. In fact, one of the knights for one of the slug menace quests or something. Maybe that would work. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same guy though. It's uh, it's survi uh, what is it? No, ceramic vars. I think yeah. So it's if it's him, we've already got a voice for him. So we can't do that. I was trying to do Aragorn for him, and I failed miserably. I just ended up sounding like depressed, middle-aged man. <laughs> depressed, early 40s guy. That's what I ended up sounding like. That's what I'll sound like in 10 years. All right. Come on, you can do it. You can run. I know you're wearing 80 pounds of metal right now, but... 
Move it or lose it. Okay. I've manufactured the magnet. Here it is. Great stuff. Insane clown posse would be amazed. Uh, with the witch's influence within the magnet, the undead chickens can use this, I'm sure. The plan is that the chickens will operate the magnet to attract bits of iron and steel, maybe even your own recently fired arrows. There are plenty of totally lost arrowheads lying about in the field of Vidiascape too, I bet. But it won't attract those. It doesn't do that on this server, just so you know. Anyway, in addition, arrows we fire should be able to be attracted back to your quiver by the cunning avian. I understand your plan, I think. We've covered feathers and now arrowheads, but uh, what's next? We need a source of wood, but one who is spiritually active and can regenerate itself. That will save you some axe work in the future. Try using a woodcutting axe on the pesky tree in the garden here. The ones that attack rather than the really dead ones. They're probably just the sort of thing we could use. By the way, the wood is really good for other types of things, if you know what I mean. Like dildos. Yes. Right, well, the trees are going to try to kill me, though, and I can't fight back. Now you know how those poor guards feel when you hide behind mushrooms and fences and attack them from afar. Anyway, you'll need to try mithril or better axe on the trees. At least the trees are pretty close. Okay, now we have to fail at doing that, and then after we've failed, we can then ask her for the blessed axe. Uh, door of the East Room, okay. Man, I hate having to exit this manor this way. It's so fucking convoluted, man. I wish you could just walk out the front door. Ugh. We'll make the player go on a circuitous route to waste time. Okay, are there any of the trees? Yeah, we have to go to the front of the manor. God damn it. I'd entertain you guys by getting the skull from here, but we already dug it up last time. I dug it up off camera because I was like, oh, right, we need the Draenor skull for... I want to say it's Dragon Slayer, but maybe I'm off base. We need it for some sort of quest. Maybe it's, um... Maybe it's Hero's Quest. Fuck, I can't remember. My memory's failing. It's the vaccine. It killed my brain. Help me. Straight up, I did get three of the Pfizer shots. Um... So far, no cancer, or weird side effects, or blood clots. Uh, so I guess I was one of the lucky ones. This is going to get that video, that weird banner at the bottom, where it's like, learn more about COVID from the official stories, because we detected that you said it. Detect my nuts. Okay, let's try to chop down one of these trees and fail miserably. Should be this one. Okay, we were off base. It was not that tree. Is it one of these? Must be this guy here. I thought it would attack me when I went by it, but... Okay. Is it one of these? Thrill as I woodcut for ten minutes. Oh, wait, I went too far. I think it's inside the gate here. Okay. Right, it's this one here, this motherfucker. Yeah, okay. The axe bounces off the ended wood. I should report this to Ava. Right, back to her again. Straight up, I was going to try to give her Dee Dee's voice from uh, Dexter's lab, but I, c I could not fucking do that. I don't even know how I would manage that. I, it's, it's so high-pitched, I feel like it would just be a nightmare. Maybe I'll try it off camera sometime and see if be a viable one for another female. Because all the, all the women in these quests are going to sound the same. Not that anyone cares, but... No, I care. I care about my craft, okay? Well, I tried to hack the tree with my axe, but I just bounced off the trunk. It did seem to... It did seem too, comma, convenient to work on the first try. I don't know why that comma's there. Fortunately for you, I've done some research, and it seems to suggest there are two choices open to you. Tell me the worst one first. Just get it over with. And please don't suggest that one of the choices is me fucking you. You're a nice lady and everything, but I'm really not into science types. Uh, I'm into, like, killing things types. Simple people. You know what I mean? Yes, of course. That checks out. Anyway, the first is more interesting. We cut off your arms and have them reanimated as undead. Reattach them, then you should be able to cut the trees normally. Of course, you won't be able to pick your nose anymore, so I suppose you'll want to try the second option. Would I still be able to jack off? 
not without your dick rotting off. All right, let's go with option two. Not exactly addicted to the pig in my nose, but I do think I'll pass on not being able to jack off. Well, in that case, I think it may have something to do with Slayer abilities. After all, I did see Turiel poking around the trees while I was moving in. He's not known for his random tourist activities. You should try chatting with him. He's the Slayer Master near Borthorpe. I know who Turiel is. I've got fucking fifty Slayer, mate. You think I don't know who he is? Jesus, I'm sorry. What, are you butt-fucking him or something? No. Why would you say that? No reason. Adventures are all the same. Well, I hope he doesn't want me to buy one of his ridiculous fashion accessories. Those earmuffs he sells make her like adventurers into laughing stock. That's why I don't kill banshees. I do like the spiky helmets, though. Right, let's go to Turiel. Yeah, this is going to be a fucking lengthy video. I am uh, glad I have no other plans tonight, because I'm going to go to bed after this, <laughs> straight up. Fucking drink some water, because I'm dehydrated. Water drinking ASMR. <clears throat> There's the man himself. Hello, what are you after then? Uh, I'm here about a quest. Ava from Draenor Manor, you know, the Dexter's Laboratory DD type character. Uh, she saw you hanging around the moving trees near Draenor Manor. Ah, yes, well, if she says I was trying to cut a piece off to make a dildo or something, that's completely wrong. I was not doing anything of the sort. Not at all. Uh, you came to the right man, though. Odd things, those trees. Uh, what is it you're needing, exactly? Uh, right. Well, I need the wood from them but my axe just bounces off the trunk. Oh, sounds like you need a blessed axe. No one really makes them, though, these days. Well, of course they don't. This wouldn't be convenient at all, would it? Jesus H. Christ. Well, blessed axes are too soft to cut normal wood, since the axe's edge must be replaced by holy silver. It can do you a favor, though. As can I. If you give me a mithril axe and a holy symbol of Saradomen, I can let you have my axe. I'll make myself a new one when no one's pestering me for slayer tasks. Okay, so I'll see whether I can spare an axe and a symbol. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk to him again. I have the materials for that blessed axe you mentioned. Uh, yes, I can make an axe for you now if you wish. Remember, it will be of no use for normal woodcutting after I've added the silver edge. I get it. It's a fucking mithril axe. I've got a rune one. I don't care. Here's your axe. May it serve you well. Turio, hence your blessed axe for your materials. Okay, now we go back to Draenor. Holy shit. Let's just go to pest control because I don't care. Or actually, no, fuck. Oh, god damn it. It's, it's like six of one, half a dozen of the other, whether you teleport here or go to Lumbridge. It's like the same distance, so, you know. We'll definitely unlock spirit trees on this account. I'll definitely spend the thousand hours necessary to do that. Straight up, we're never doing that. <laughs> the closest we're going to get is maybe a... A glory teleport to uh, to Draenor, but uh, beyond that, we are not going to unlock those. That's going to be... Well, actually, I mean, it is a... It's a quest, isn't it? So I guess we will unlock them at some point, but we're not going to be able to plant one here. I mean, there's no way I'm going to get... What is it, like 90 farming for that? It's a high fucking level. What is it for spirit trees? Oh, that's fucking the wrong skill. Okay, hold on here. I'm just curious about this. Special? It's in special, I guess. 83. Okay, yeah, we're not getting that. We're not getting 83 farming. We'll probably get somewhere to the 50s or 60s, maybe. Whatever the minimum is for the quests. I mean, I guess when I'm finished all the quests, I don't know what I'll do with this account. Maybe I'll do diaries and just rant about nonsense. I guess I could do that. People seem to like the longer videos. Maybe I'll start streaming. If you guys want me to, comment down below, even though most of you haven't made it this far in the video. Probably clicked off in the beginning because this is a boring as shit video. I just couldn't think of anything to say. My brain's fucking drained from spending all night working. Oh boy. Alright, let's take our jizz covered axe and get ourselves uh, some dildo wood. Gotta polish that real well if you're gonna go that uh, route. Make sure it's very well polished. Splinters are not a thing you want to experience. Not that I would know anything about that. All right. 
I don't know how many twigs we need. Just one, I think. Uh, the undead tree. I'm going to get a bunch just in case. Okay. There's three. If we need more than that, we'll have to go out of the mansion again, which is going to suck dick. Oh, that poor skeleton. Just in there with his tube. Okay. Talking to Ava for the trillionth time. Oh, fuck off, dude. Hello there, V-Master. I knew it were you, matey. Here, have some of the good stuff. Dwarf gives you beer and a kebab. Let's see if it makes us sick. You eat the kebab. I don't know if you guys know, I should have I should have uh, shown you, but there's a remove kebab option instead of drop. If you guys know what that's a reference to, you're, uh, you're a real one. Uh, I have the undead wood at last. Well, twigs, anyway. You certainly took your time. Bitch, I had to teleport to fucking Birthorp and then to fucking Pest Control. Don't tell me I had to take my time, all right? I've been bouncing around the whole fucking world for you all night. I'm tired as shit. Jesus Christ, this reward better be worth it. I'd say they didn't grow on trees, but I guess you'd be sarcastic about my sense of humor then. Yes. Now that we have all the ingredients for infinite arrows, we just need a container in which we can keep the components in the correct mutual alignment. I've gathered together some research notes from various sources, but I can't quite make out what they mean. You wrote the notes, and now you can't read them. Were the people who wrote this quest on PCP or some shit. This is ridiculously stupid. Well, if you want to have a go at making them out, be my guest. I'll be handing some research notes in exchange for the undead twig. Great, so now I have to put together your fucking notes for you. Jesus H. Christ, this is ridiculous. Well, there seems to be a simplistic pattern here to solve. You shuffle the notes around. No, that's not quite right. You move the pages around some more. Oh, combined tiles with, uh, oh, this makes a bit more sense. You switch the last page with the first. Polished buttons, hard leather, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Can we do this ourselves? Do we have to, oh, okay. I guess there is no mini game implemented. That's awesome. Devs, don't fix that. <laughs> For once, I'm like, please don't change that. Don't add the mini game where you have to do that. Uh, I've translated the notes. It was a very complex, uh, long mini game with a lot of animations and little characters and assets and things. See, I'm not just a thuggish moron like you seem to think, and I did not fuck Toriel, okay? Right. For all I know, it was pure luck, so don't jump to any conclusions about your mighty intellect. I can see why you don't have anyone to fuck. I'm never going to talk to you again after this, unless I lose my accumulator. Then I'll have to. But beyond that, you're a repulsive, acerbic, abrasive person. Not easy to work with, really. Maybe that's why Rick Sanchez upstairs locked you in here. Ugh. Let's get back to the work we're doing. Remember, this is all a favour to you. Yeah, I really feel like I'm the one getting the favours here. I could have just decided to fob you off with a feather duster. Fob me off? What the fuck are you talking about? Never mind, don't even explain it. I've given you a pattern for the container. You'll need to combine them with some polished buttons and hard leather, then we're almost done. Good news, eh? Yeah, it's the best news I've heard all fucking night. If you're having trouble finding buttons, I've heard rumors that ham members have quite the affinity for them. They have a button fetish? Yes. It's more common than you'd think. Batonophilia. You've got it too, don't you? That's probably why there aren't any buttons here. You've been sticking them where the sun don't shine. Look, I just hear they lose their clothes a lot to thieves, okay? That's all. Right. I don't believe you. There we are, a container. Okay, combining with the twig. Or do we have to talk to her again? Solve notes with the phone. Do we have to do... Okay. Oh, now the arrow manufacturer is ready for use. Talk to me if you need more information later. Congratulations, you've completed animal autism. You're awarded 1,000 XP in crafting, fletching, and slayer. 2500 working XP, one quest point, Ava's device, quest point's 45. Holy balls, guys, we're done. Let's put it on. Boom! Accumulator achieved. 
I wanted to wait till 50 range because I sure as shit didn't want to get the worst version of this after going through all that crap. So thank you for watching this video. We're going to end it before we reach an hour because um, I don't think I could stand it if this quest goes on one moment longer. So I promise the next video won't be as boring. We're probably going to do Dragon Slayer. It'll be a lot of fun. Lots of funny voices. Ned talking about wanting to be a girl. It's going to be great. Uh, thank you for enduring this episode, and as always, peace out.